Hello and welcome to PM Studios, uh, small basic tutorial number 8. Today I'm going to be going over while loops. Um, it's a very simple tutorial, it's going to be very very short, I'm guessing it's probably going to be about 5 minutes, give or take about 20 seconds. Um, and so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up small basic and create a new document. After that you're going to do number 1, we're going to declare a number. Number 1 equals, actually let's call it S, so that's easier for me to explain. S equals 100, and, um, and then we're going to do begin, and put our colon, start our loop, and then while S is greater than 1, I'm going to do text window dot right line, oops, right line, and inside that we're going to write S, and after we do that we're going to redefine S as S. Uh, equals s divided by 2 which means we're starting out with 100 that is s and as long as s is greater than 1 it's going to show you what s equals and then after it does that it's going to divide s by 2 so it should come out to 100 and then it's going to divide it by 2 and it'll show 50 and so on and so forth so after we do that we're going to do our end while and then we're going to put in an if statement so if s is less than 1 then we're going to go to the begin and then we're going to end our if statement <coughs> excuse me and that should be our entire program so if we push f5 it's going to show up and as you can tell um, the reason why the mouse has the loading the, the little hourglass button on and the uh, it looks like it's flickering a lot is because it's actually redoing these numbers at least twice t twice a second so as you're looking at it it's doing 150 25 12 point5 6 point25 3 point one two five one point five six two five two times a second it's printing all those numbers twice a second so uh, as you can tell this works it functions perfectly um, it holds true so as long as s is greater than 1 because as you can tell it stops just above 1 it will continue to do this path so if we were to close this and I were to show you a different application for it <coughs> excuse me again s could equal a quote so hello YouTube and we can change this to as long as s equals and then quotes again hello YouTube you have to write it exactly the same or it won't show up then you can write s and you can delete this if statement and there you go that would be another functioning one where it would continuously write hello youtube over and over and over again which would be good for a practical prank and as you can see it's writing hello youtube at least five times a second here because it doesn't have any math to process so it's a little bit faster I could be wrong in the numbers too, it could be going even faster and I may not know it. But either way, as you can tell, it's writing Hello YouTube forever and ever and ever until Hello YouTube doesn't equal Hello YouTube, which we all know will never be true as long as we don't change the parameters inside the text. Um, they're in parameters inside the programming. So that's pretty much the entire thing. Uh, some of the basic applications you could use this for is um, some. Uh, um, some prank spammers, for instance. Um, uh, you could. That's really all I can think of at the moment. You could use it for um, bogus spyware. You can use it to. Um, <coughs> and then later applications, you can create it to um, to create regular loops where it loops it until you get a certain outcome uh, with extra mathematics involved. But either way, that's the entire tutorial. Um, from here on out, if you guys would like me to make a tutorial on anything in Small Basic, please leave a comment on my on one of my videos. It doesn't matter which one; I'll catch it. Um, just leave a comment on one of my videos asking me what you want me to make a tutorial about, and I will most certainly get to making a tutorial. I'll have it out within an hour of when I read it. Uh, read your comment, that is. Um, other than that, what you guys can expect from me in the future is more Photoshop tutorials, and I'll be continuing on to Quick Basic, or QBasic as most people know it. 
Um, I'll give you an explanation of how to attain that, how to run it, and so on and so forth, how to program inside Quick Basic, which was the original form of basic programming. But, um, I mean, other than that, that's really it. I can't make any more small basic tutorials in the moment because I have nothing else that I can really teach you guys about at the moment. There, you've, I've really given you all the basic skills that I can at the moment to go out and create your own programs. I imagine there will be more functionality and more uh, more of an area for me to teach you small basic after they release a, a later update. Um, maybe once they get a .5 out or, or 1.0 even. So, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I, stress, I especially stress the subscribing uh, because I will be creating new videos that are not in this uh, series anymore. So, thank you and have a good day.